Well, that's something I don't see often. A couple of geese <laughs> trying to swim up the current. <laughs> All right, I done seen geese today, huh? If I can get a better picture, I may stop and do it again. There might be a gap right here. Well, I don't know. They hear me now. They're pretty. Yep. There's the back side of the old seed. Oh, I can say this about this building. Um, I found out that this building was built back in, uh, I believe 1910. And when it was built, it was one of the first buildings in Ozark that was that large. And it was an insane asylum for Springfield. Now, I, I can't prove that, but uh, I, I had a guy that kind of knew, he, he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. So if anybody knows that house, and it's not, it's not as, as St. Asylum now, they, they some really good people running it. And this, this man that runs it, I think it was a friend that with him, one day I stopped and talked to him and he told me, that that's what it was but he's running it as a as a boarding house and he he helps a lot of people so it doesn't have the blemish of that but uh i don't know if i can see it right now i'll show you another there's a concrete embutment where the railroad track went right across there yeah i, I can't see it right now sure can't see it in the that's the pavilion. There's where, if they really wanted to extend this walking trail, they're gonna have to raise that bridge because, I mean, in a rain, the water goes over it. And as you can see, water's going over it right now. So, the walking trail extends that way, but it's just, it's just done with uh, bark. And uh, yeah. Okay, well, I've been walking for a pretty good while. I'm coming back up on the old, old seat. I'm going to get a drink of water, look at the time, and see what I'm going to do. I am in the process of packing. And <laughs> it ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't never easy. But I'm culling a lot of things that I took last time. I just don't need them. If I, if I took them then and I didn't need them then, I don't need them now. But it's still kind of hard to, because you want, you think you need this. Well, I think I need that. I think I, I'll take this and I'll take that. And then you get ready to try to figure out where you're going to pack it. You realize that you don't need it. So, I am pack, packing light. Look, I want to show you. These, uh, that's how cold it's been for all these days. I've been walking, showing these things for over five or six days. And it ain't got above, it ain't got but a, above 32, maybe one, one or two times. And they're still there. That's something else. Okay. Well. <laughs> ah. This time tomorrow, I will be headed towards Jamaica in the air. To all my loved ones, I love y'all. I've left a lot of video <laughs> in case anything happens. You can show my grandkids and great-great-grandkids and y'all can all come to your own conclusions about the stuff I say. Most people can't even understand what I'm saying, but that's all right. It don't matter. But I do love the idea of teaching somebody to be free. And that was the last out of that talk I had with Joe Turner. And he was headed back to, headed to Texas. 
and he said, I got a lot I could tell you, buddy. I got a whole lot we could talk about, but I gotta go. And I'm gonna leave you with this one thing. Be free. Oh, man. That meant a lot. Took a while to meditate and ponder on it. But, so, in my teaching, when I'm talking, I'm only teaching myself. But that's something that's very important. Is to be free. And you can't be free if you're in debt. You'll be working till you die trying to pay it off. Or you got a chance, pay it off. Sell everything. Get six months worth of food, six months worth of water, and hang on. All right, I'm in the OC. I gotta go.